Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to grab the Google Street View panorama and export as FBX file. The FBX file can be used by any of your 3D software like 3D modeling software, 3D animation software, game developing software, everything. <clears throat> so start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you need to scroll down, go to the video descriptions and download the Panorama Sphere FBX file. This is my Google's Google Drive download link. After you download it, you can get an FBX file that is the Panorama Sphere. If you double click and check with the 3D viewer in your window 10, you can see this is a sphere. Next, scroll down and download the Street View Gravel. This is another Google Drive link. Click and download. You should be able to get a zip file and after that you, you should unzip it and you get this folder. <clears throat> unzip and get this folder. This is the Street View Gravel. Next, you go and download the Blender for free by clicking this link and install the Blender in your computer. And finally, you can enter the Google Street View through the Google Map link. This link. Control C to copy. Now I'm going to open the Google Map. So now I can just search like search New York City. So here is New York City. I'm going to enter any of the street view. Just have a click. And the street view is at the bottom. Just need to click. Then you will in enter the street view immediately. This is the street view. So what can you do? Next. Open your street view, the street view grabber. Double click and open. Now, the first thing what you need to do is untick the crop panorama. Untick it. Next, add panel. Before you click add panel, you have to copy the, the Google Street Views link. Copy from here, right click and copy. Here you click add panel. Do you want to import URLs from clipboard? Here you select yes, click yes. And now you can click grab. You can see after you click the grab, click OK. It will come out an output folder, appear an output folder. This output folder, you can see a picture is here. This is the picture of the street view panorama. You need this picture. Of course, when you grab this picture, you can select Select the resolution, the quality to, to make it bigger or make it smaller. It depends on you. For me, I never change it, just, just make it become originally at here. So now I get this picture already. What can I do? Start the Blender. The Blender is supposed to already install in your computer. And this is the original latest version of the Blender. If this is your first time to open the Blender, just click at the side and then delete these three things. Select them and press delete. You see three selected together. The first is the camera, the cube and the light. I press delete button to delete them all together to clear everything here. Next, the panorama sphere that you already downloaded from the links that I provided in my video description. You have to click file and import this. Import the FBX file from my desktop because I, I put this on my desktop. So I click the desktop and import the panorama sphere. Now, at the corner here, click this symbol to activate the texture. This is the next step. Once you click it, wait for a while, 
until it shows that the blue is highlighted as here. Next, click the okay. Next, you make sure you click. You click and select this already. Once you click it, it will automatically be highlighted by the orange color. Means it already selected. Next, you click the UV editing. Now, under the UV editing, first you have to click here. Do not click other area. Just to click here only. And next, click the same symbol at the bottom. You can see same symbol. This is the symbol of texture and material. Click here. Do not click anywhere here, but you have to click here. The base color is already there. Click this yellow color bar and click image texture. Next, you should be able to see a, an open button is here. Click the open and then now go and select the texture from your street view gravel. It's under the output folder that is on my desktop. Street view gravel, output folder. This is the picture just now. Double click. And now this texture already insert. Click layout and have a view. Let's have a look. If you use your if you scroll and give and use your middle button to rotate it, you can see the street. The street view is here. Of course in Blender if you want to do any 3D animation here you can press S and make it bigger. Now it is a bigger sphere. Next. Then you can do your 3D animation here. Next. In this video, we are going to show you that how to export it as FBX file so that you can use it in any other software. This is a panorama street view. So in order to export as the street view, FBX, so you click file, export FBX. As demo, I will export on my desktop and the file name I remain unchanged as untitled. The most important thing is the path mode you must select copy. At the same time, you have to click here to highlight this to, hi to be highlighted as blue color. Just in that, that setting. Copy and highlight this. Then click export FBX. Now finally, you can see the FBX file already exported. Now you can close your blender and close the street view global. This is the FBX file that can be imported into any 3D software, 3D animation software, 3D game developing software, 3D modeling software. If you double click the FBX file and check by using the 3D viewer, actually you already own that street view. You can scroll your mouse to magnify it and now you can use your right right button on your mouse to rotate it and actually even without doing the 3d modeling 3d animation and game developing you can grab this street view and make it become an offline file in your computer as an fbx model this is an fbx model and everyone can do this so that's all for today about how to grab the google street view panorama and export it as FBX file for any of your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing project. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.